report. Most of the items on the report are updates. Um, a lot of them are which are status quo from the last meeting. Um, there are a number of items that we have in executive session for this evening. Uh, Morgan water runoff issue uh, being one of those. Also, um, if it's okay with the board, if the engineer's okay, we would add plat check on there as well um, to speak about an executive session. Um, as the board is aware, the uh, township purchased the Tildra property on Muse Avenue uh, this uh, past month. And my understanding is that the chairman accompanied, was it the code enforcement officer, Andy? Yeah. yeah to the site and um, did some preliminary inspection and then boarded that, had that site boarded up. What we've done is we, we had purchased uh, the property, the Tildra property, which is right next to Pachani's. And Don, Don was able to go out and get it for the minimum bid. Yeah, so, so the audience knows that was in a judicial sale for tax sale for $1,500. And as the, the um, board has long been aware, they've been in litigation with the adjacent property owner. That property, um, the Tildra property, has sat in disrepair. There's debris all over the property. And so the easiest way to do it before somebody else um, took it was the township purchase it for at a judicial sale for, I think, on $1,500, something like that. It was 1583 or something to that. So uh, my understanding is that property has been cleaned up um, and that's the Puccini matter is also on my report which is another matter subject to executive session. But what we had done out there, John, too, is whenever we purchased this property the very next day, Dawn had made sure that we had insurance coverage on it and since it was run down, Mark Whalen and I went out, he took pictures and documented everything inside and then we did board up with four by eight sheets of plywood over the door. So it's, kind of taken away that nobody can accidentally wander into there and get injured or hurt. Well, I have a question on this. We have a lot of money invested in this. In the Puccini case? Yeah. yeah. A yeah. lot. I know it, it's... Almost, it's, it's, 24, it's over $24,000. That's just since January of 2013. We, all, we also have, and I'm not sure that's included, but the zoning of solicitor fees. No, none of that's included. And as well as... Well, we don't pay. It's for 16000 almost. And we have um, insurance counsel, two or three insurance counsel involved. I have that, that Dickie McCamey. That's one of them. That's $7,100. I have that included. Is that, is that part of their deductible or our deductible? 10000 okay. is what I understand it to be. This is just getting out of sight. Now, we have a dilapidated piece of property. And I don't know whether this is for executive session or here, but how much are we going to spend on this? We're going to end up seventy-five, eighty, ninety thousand dollars. Is it ever going to get resolved? I know that there were efforts made on the part of that, everyone, but it's not going anywhere except for spending a lot of money. Okay. We we've had this happen in the past, with Mr. Clemens' property. There, there are certain um, situations that the board, you know, gets into these battles to enforce their laws, and it, sometimes it costs more than. Um, the board wants to spend, um, can spend, but there's a question of what are you supposed to do in terms of enforcing your laws. Now, the you know, another injunction. Be an end. This is, and this is not even the beginning. This has to end somewhere. I, I think the, the neighbors would agree with you. They're, everyone's looking for some solution and final resolution is property, and, and it's probably best because I think at the last. Um, court hearing, they brought up comments made during the public meeting. So since this is a litigation matter and they do, we should speak about these issues in executive session. Not that in executive session. And there is another, they filed for another injunction and the insurance council, I believe, has filed for sanctions, so. I'm aware of that. Anything else, John? No. Okay, thank you. Next is Park and Rec. Uh, excuse me, I have one question. Yes. John, on your bills in the future, would you please itemize each individual matter separately? That's number one. And number two, would you please describe what you do? Can you do that? I, I, I try to do both. I know there are occasions where I lump in several items at one because whether I'm on the phone with somebody or working on a, you know multiple matters at one time, um, so I'll do my, even in that, Elizabeth, I'll try to break that out even if it's yeah. per the entry. But those two issues. As to the description, um, I've talked to the board in the past. They used to have more expansive descriptions. And then um, those descriptions, after discussing with the board, were, were pulled back a little bit. But I can try to be more expansive again. No, I, uh, only because of right-to-know issues. 
uh, with, uh, some people in the audience were presented <coughs> my bills that never went through right to know, so there was an issue of keeping it as plain as possible. Uh, Twelve, your last bill, 12 of the 16 charges that you have say work on, work on, work on. As, as a precursor to whatever I was working on. Yeah, and then you'll do Rose Avenue, Pacheney, uh, Pushak, you know, whatever, anywhere from two to six issues on it. Okay. And I'd like to see more information as to what you did. I saw that there was a good deal on research. Who authorized the research, and what are the results of it? I never got anything. Well, it depends on what the matter is. I'd have to look at it. Well, it's very vague. It doesn't say. Well, again, the, I talked to the board in the past because there was a concern that the, the bills were being handed out that they should be more general and not specific. But I don't have a problem I, I, you know, putting more specific. If you're researching, we should get a copy of what you research. It's, it potentially, it depends if it's researching for a letter, researching, whatever. If I'm doing a memorandum, I send them to you. Like, I think we did some research on some items that resulted in letters. Uh, I don't know. $450 is one research. For what's it say? Research government speech and First Amendment issues when someone speaks on behalf of government. $450. It's another one for $200. It's researched executive sessions and personnel issues. Another one. Another one is $100 research statutes of case law regarding wrongful disclosure of information from executive sessions. These total four, six, eight, nine, nine hundred, some nine fifty, nine hundred sixty dollars. And all this research, and I don't even who authorized this. Well, I think when I spoke to the manager and the manager. Um, I was presented with a letter that we had to send to our insurance council. So um, typically the board or the manager will direct some of the work I do, but some of it can't wait for the 30 days. But that was a personnel matter that had to be investigated so I could advise the board because quite honestly I didn't know the answer as to what liability the board might have. Okay, well, the research. I mean, am I not entitled to it? That was about me. Well, I, I can't speak to that. Well, I can. Well, no, that should be going in executive session. You should well, be going in executive session. I didn't know that. He asked me what it was on Well, in, in the past, if you remember, Elizabeth, you've asked me not to put your name in, in my bill, so I've not done that. Well, that's $1,700. You better believe it. <laughs> $1,700 to review what I was ordered to provide you, and you had it all. That all they were, 99% of it was just copies of, of public information but I felt that I had to give it to you. Well, unfortunately, we, we have to review everything. If there's a shortcut, I'll take it. So, but in any event, I'll work on the time entries in the future, but if, and if there's something you see in the bills that you can feel free to email or call me and I'll see if there is a document. Sometimes I'll just look and then I'll advise the board. I don't actually write it down. I just look to see what the law is on, you know, for the disclosures, things like that. But I never got any advice. I never saw it. The, the advice was to the board where I asked the board to um, submit the matter to their insurance carrier. Oh, research. Am I not entitled to that research? If, if there is written research, you're welcome to it. Sometimes the research is just reviewing it and then applying that to whatever the situation is. Then you're saying that Don called you and told you to do this? No, not necessarily. It may just be from fallout from what happens in a meeting or what happens by way of letters that we receive by other council I understand that, but aren't you supposed to be directed by three supervisors if this is what's to be done? Well, yes and no. Term, you want or what? Between meetings, I have a job to protect the township. So if there is legal advice that I need to provide the township, which you can't wait for authorization for the meeting, through the years that's just been the practice, and that's really the practice of all the boards I deal with. And normally that's why I provide it to the board, and, and in the past, if the board has had any issues with the fees, I've taken the fees off. Especially if there's a potential for the township being sued. Yeah, normally that's the case. Or, or Everything is a potential for the township being sued. Well, normally it's a reaction to another lawyer or something in the township, the, the, like the flooding issues that come up that we have to research that someone's threatening. It's just the day-to-day -day operations. All right, well, I, I'll do it. I'll take a look at the bill. Okay, be more thank succinct. you. Anything else, John? Nope, thank you. Now we've got a parts of
I do want to start by 